Hello and welcome to Young Tykes TV. Uh, got two uh, young enthusiastic lads on. Uh, Ertz, as we all know him as, and Caleb. Great to have uh, you both on. Um, so I'll come to you first, Ertz. Just been saying um, off air, uh, you know, two home games, lost them both, 3-1. Bit disappointing, Ertz. Uh, do you think we could have won them or should have won them games? Um, against Peter, bro, we should have won that because... We scored and then we just sat back and let him score even more. So the yeah. it were shocking. Yeah, it was it was poor. Uh, Caleb just going off what I was saying. Poor defending at back, loads of spaces at back. We just got well a game what we could have should have won, but we let it go, didn't we? We just like lost three one and no excuses really. We looked a bit off it, didn't look in game and spaces, Caleb. Well, Peterborough are a good team, but I think when we're that low level, playing at that low level, we should be winning them games. We got well, we shouldn't if we're playing like that all season. We'll just yeah, fair, mm. fair, fair point. Yeah, a game we should have won, and we, you know we didn't deserve out from it. I get where you're coming from with that. Uh, so I mean, we said that at the beginning of the season, you know, we've got a couple of own games. We'd like to get points on board. And some people are saying. Oh, we're all right. We still got transfer wins to go up, but again, when you're at home, you should really be winning them. And just like what uh, Kale was saying, we get in a position where we should have won it, but for some reason, we just—I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but we just didn't look switched on. I thought Kitchen's been having a a poor poor performance. Uh, do you think any transfer rumours about Kitchen? Do you think it's—I don't know—getting to his head in, in his head, you know, make it, uh, mashing his head up kind of thing? Uh, mm, I'm not sure. Probably. Mm. We yeah. being a captain, you'd think it'd be like you know a lot of people be looking up to him, but yeah. is it is it minute? He don't look like a captain for it uh, for is it minute? Uh, does he kitchen? Uh, no, he's not. Uh, lately, he's not been playing that good, especially against Peterborough. He played shocking. Yeah, yeah, and again, <laughs> I mean, last season I thought I started to come into it all right and. Even last season, uh, so we're putting a tackling money, and I haven't seen him really do. All like this is like not really getting stuck in for me. I, d I just don't know if he's like suffering with confidence or it, you know, it's captain too much. Would you, would you think, you know, give someone else a go at captain? Uh, I think I'd give Luke Connell a go at captain instead. Luke Connell, good shout, good shout. Yeah, uh, a fair few people are on about Luke O'Connell being captain. So, Caelan, this is what Ertz were following on from there. Bart Luke O'Connell, he's been out injured for a couple of, you know, uh, last couple of, I said weeks, but probably a month, month or two, because he hasn't really been in pre-season. Luke O'Connell, I, 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 I were missing Luke O'Connell, Caelan. You know, he'd be missing him in midfield, that kind of ball-winning midfielder. Yeah, I think now we've lost him, the... Made a midfield has just been slacking, and I think he deserves to be captain. He has that confidence, and he's like Norwood, he inspires all team. Yeah, I mean, I've, it's, Luke O'Connell's a I like him as a player, I think he's my favorite player. And with Norwood, like you said, via he inspires and inspire, inspires not just for team, but I think his fans as well. You know, when I've seen him come up for corners and fans are applauding me, he kind of buys into that. Have you all been disappointed with him, with Liam Kitchen, with him being, you know, not in game, his mind? He just doesn't seem to be the same player last season, Caelan? Um, I think, yeah, last season, um, he just worked well with Mads and now I don't think he... I think he's lost that confidence because he doesn't have, like, that defender that he can trust. Yeah, good shout that. Uh, uh, it's just going on from what Kieran was saying there. He hasn't got that defender where he can trust that partnership. And would, again, on about it off air, there's been rumours in press, you know, uh, Barnes Chronicle and Radio Sheffield that players, you know, potential transfer targets might be on the way to Barnsley. Um, and again, it's been rumoured that I think there's MK Don's defender, I think a lad called Pollock from. Watford, I believe. Do you think Kitchen does need that kind of defender at side and to help him his game? Like, you, like Caelan said, missing that kind of Mads Anderson type of player to help Kitchen out? Um, 
Yeah, I think he needs a better player at side rim because uh, other player at side rim's not as good as him. So mm. I think he needs like an, a player that's equal with him. Yeah, and like you said, I get where you're coming from because Kitchen's still learning as a captain, so he needs that that experience, that character, that leader at side rim to help him. And what, what's your take on Liam Roberts? I like him as a goalkeeper, me, Liam Roberts. Yeah. I think I think he should start in net every game. Yeah, I I, I like him as a player. Um, Caleb, Liam Roberts, do you, do you like him as a player? I, I think he's a decent uh, keeper. I think he saved his pull off some decent saves and all. He could have been a lot worse goal scorer. So do, do you like Liam Roberts? Yeah, I think he has good reaction time, and I think he has. He needs to trust the defense more because. The defence is just starting to collapse. Yeah, a lot of understanding, a lot of togetherness needed uh, via Caelan. So I get where you're coming from with that. But you've got to trust your defenders and defenders have got to trust goalkeepers. So there's a lot of like bonding, a lot of you know togetherness for all team. It's because it's, it's, it is a team game and you've got to rely on one another to help you in a situation like that. So uh, it's before we get to the Wigan game, do you think that Barnsley will sign any players? You know, it's rumoured that it might be a striker, it could be a defender. Can you see any players coming before Wigan or do you think it'll be next week? Um, if if there is, it'll be next week. I don't think it'll be before again. Yeah, a bit late in the day. Uh, so, Caelan, it's a bit late in the day. Um, like, as we've just been saying, there, there's rumours going about, it could be a striker, it could be a defender. Do you all think it's more than likely going to be next week, weekend after Wigan game? I think we can daft at Wigan again. I think we'll sign a defender because yeah. that's what we need. What well, I mean, while you're both here, um, I think we all can see that defence is like pretty, pretty frail at the minute. It's not, you know, not beating about a bush. We've lost at home twice, you know, three one. What's your take on this lad from uh, Exeter? I know it's like rumours going about, but I think he's called uh, Sam Nombi. Seems to have got 17 goals last season. Kayla Mertz, uh, do, do you rate him as a player? Do you know much about him? Uh, I don't, I don't know, much know much about him. him. No, I don't think a lot have. I've looked I've looked on YouTube when name come about, I didn't really know. But when you're looking at him, he seems to know me at back and he looks a strong, powerful striker. So I think it's uh, an, I think it's a player that could do a job because I think that's what we were missing up front. So, uh, it's just going back to you, we've, we've tied up other performances, we've tied up a bit of transfers. We kind of agree that it's going to be probably next week if all happens with transfer market. A bit late in the day for game, you know, players in for match fitness and that. So, coming on to Wigan game, mates. I mean, away from home, I've heard some people say, oh, yeah, it's a game that Barnes are liable to get a win from there because we're not at home with pressure. But could you see a, a win for Barnsley at Wigan? Um, yeah, but it's going to be really tough. Um, tough that. Yeah, tough game. Caleb, same to you. What you know? Can you see Barnes are winning, or is it going to be a Wigan win, a draw, maybe? What's your thoughts on it, Caleb? I think Barnes will just squeeze through with like a cheeky goal. A cheeky goal. They won't Bolton. Um, Bolton, they're a good team, but we can win Bolton. Hopefully, we can win these. Cheeky goal. We'll take that. Like you said, the the bet Bolton four and out and. That's no mean feat at Bolton because Bolton had a good a good side. We never, I, I tip Bolton to build beer or beer about me. I, I really like Bolton. I think they're a strong outfit. So, uh, it's, I mean, you both gone for wins. I, I'm I'm going for a draw. I just think there's pro- there's liable to be a goal and it will be a set piece. But I think we we gaps at back unless we've been working on something in training in a show and gaps at back. I can see it's conceding as well, just with them scoring like four at Bolton. So. I'm going for the draw. I'm going for. I'm going to go two two uh, for my draw. Uh, Ertz, would you make any changes for Barnsley going into the Wigan game? Um, no, I don't. I'd, I'd keep teams same. Me. Would you have that young French lad in Matt De uh, Givney, I think his name is. He got subbed off, didn't he? Would you give? Would you start him again, or would you ever want bench and fetch someone else in? Um, I'd have him on bench, I think. You'd have him on bench. Caleb, 
you were like, oh, no, no. I saw you shaking your head and that. I mean, they give me, I felt sorry for that lad because I think he just come to a club and he got put straight into the game and I thought, you know, I felt sorry for him because I didn't want him to like, he looked out of his depth, uh, get penalty away and the yellow card and I think Neil Collins did the right thing. But again, I thought he should have started on bench me and probably started Jack Shepard because he's had some game time. So I know you're going to say, yeah, I'll, I'll change someone. So I'm going to come to you now, Caleb. Would you change any, uh, anybody in starting 11 foot Wigan game for Barnsley? Yeah, I'll, I'd change up front. I'd put Aidan Marsh in because when they came on, he put in a good performance. And I mm. think he's one of the favourite didn't he? Look lively when he you know. come on. Yeah, look lively yeah. when he come on. Yeah, good shout back, mate. Defence, what would you do in defence? Would you, would you make the changes there? Yeah, I'd well thought first thing I'd not put Kitchen as captain, I'd put Liam Roberts. Mm. Um that That's no a good play shout. Right. that gave away that pen, I'd just take him out for way. Yeah, and put probably that Jack Jack Shepherd in. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think I think he needs to be subbed on and he I think he needs to get a bit of game time because he's not played much he's not played at, at this club yet, so I just need to fit him. Fair shout. Liam Roberts as captain. What about that from? Uh, so would you go with that, Liam Roberts as captain? Um, No. No. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? It's a good shout, that. It's a, it really is a good shout, that, Liam Roberts. There's been, I know there's been a few people in stands in Ponty and uh, Rami and were saying, you know, take armband off the kitchen. It might just need, you know, him to refocus or stuff like that. And, Mm, that's an interesting one. An interesting one, but probably people who's watching video back, let us know your comments. That might be a good uh, talking topic, that one. So we've kind of gone for wins. Uh, going to be a couple, few changes for side in, in side to line up. And we would like to see Aidan Marsh have a go because he looked, he really looked liable when he came on. Uh, back, I think back French kid, back to Gibney again, just took him out at firing line. All being well, you know, Cundy McCarthy not going to be far off. Well, Connell not going to be far off all being well. Um, and again, it's just strikers hitting back at net and us trying to stop them and shore up defence at back. I think that's where his weaknesses at the minute really is. Uh, Wooding uh, at back sometimes, I think, well, he could, you know, drive a car and it kind of thing sometimes, like some of the goals we've been conceding there. Uh, so I'll just go into the nets. Um, score prediction, and who do you think will be the most important player for Barnsley? Uh, against Wigan then, mate. Um, I think it'll be Liam Roberts. Liam Roberts. Okay. Yeah. And what score are you going to go? What what score? Uh, 1-0 Barnsley. 1-0 Barnsley. Liam Roberts will be an important player. Uh, Caelan, uh, score prediction, mate, and also the most important player for Barnsley. I think score will be three two rounds and then the most important player I think will be Aidan Marsh. Aidan Marsh, yep, yeah. Aidan Marsh a three two. Oh, it's an exciting one. It's going to be nail by to that one if it goes three two, but a win's a win, isn't it? Uh, well, I said two two. Um, I think there'll be goals in it, but I can see you know Wigan also doing it. So I'm going to go two two, and I think important player for me will be. Uh, I think Irby Kane, I think in midfield, he needs to get a grip and hold at game. Because if you don't, I think they might run riot. I think if we can compete, I think we're missing Luke Connell. It's right, shadow of a doubt. So when you go past that, I'm looking for, you know, I'd like to see Liam Kitchen, you know, but, you know, he's a captain, so you kind of expect it. But for me, I'm going to go Irby Kane because uh, I'd like to see him get back to the same play as well last season. And I think he's missing Luke Connell playing alongside him as well. So, a bit like what Eric said earlier, is that Linkage is missing Mads. I think Herbie Kane is missing Luke O'Connell. Just to have that understanding with players. And your guys know we're playing in a football team. You kind of know you know what players can do. So, it's that understanding in it and make sure you're better as well. So, Eric and Caelan, appreciate you taking your time out. I had some good thoughts, some good debates, uh, some good call arts as well. Uh, score predictions and making Liam Roberts captain. Again, that should be an interesting one. Get people chatting away in comments. So, Ertz and Caleb, appreciate you. Thanks for t uh, thanks for joining me, mate. Uh, people watching, 
please like, subscribe, and share. Let us know your thoughts. You know, school predictions. Is it going to be a draw? Is it going to be a win? And like what uh, lads have said on here, uh, Liam Kitchen not really living up to expectations. What about making Liam Roberts in consideration for it being captain? Again, that'd be an interesting one. Safe journey down to Wigan. Let's come back. Uh, back to Barnsley from Wigan with three points and a win and uh, get some goals in as well that'll be alright for us um, but one thing left to say you Reds <laughs>